We got a special guest this morning, an author of a book. He's a prominent, prominent author and individual in the Washington metropolitan area. He's uh, Eric Hughes. He'll be coming on board this morning talking about his new book. Uh, he's wrote several books, but he'll be talking about the new book this morning. Uh, we're going to bring him up in just a minute. Uh, Eric, you on the air? Yeah, can you hear me, Russ? I can, I can hear you. I can hear you. Fantastic. Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. Uh, this is Motivational Mondays. Uh, we talk about uh, things to make people motivated and also to spotlight businesses and authors like yourself. Uh, it's all about you this morning. It's all about you, Eric. Uh, tell us about yourself and about the book. All right. Uh, before I begin, Russ, I want to thank you uh, and your magazine, magazine, Be There Magazine, for giving me and others the opportunity to expose and publish their precious work on your show. Uh, and secondly, um, after this interview or during this interview, I encourage the listening audience to uh, Google the song Good Night, My Love by Jesse Jackson and listen closely to the music and the words. And I guarantee you it will evoke feelings of love. Uh, then they can pick up a copy of my book and begin the journey to reading a most unusual and exciting novel. Uh, the book is really about uh, an adolescent romance that began in high school that uh, continued after a 30-year absence at a high school reunion. And uh, the problem is, is that the, the male, Paul, is married, and uh, the lady that he that he uh, has this romance with is a widow, but she's a very aggressive person. So she wants to uh, restart the uh, romance, and the male Paul, he's a little concerned about that. He he wants to have a platonic relationship with her. Uh, so the the story takes off, and it's more situa situated in the 60s. It starts in 2011, reverts back to the 60s, and then comes back to 2011. Um, I did a lot of research before I sat down to write this story. Uh, it took me a few years to do it. Uh, I used the language of the, of the 60s, the music of the 60s, the doo-wop music of the 50s and 60s, along with its artists, all of which play uh, an important part in the story, um, and jazz artists also. Uh, there's a lot of teachable moments in this book, um, and this book has everything. It has uh, information about adolescent and adult interracial mar uh, romance, which was taboo in the 60s. That's why this book is hot. Uh, this relationship took, took place in the 60s. Uh, it has racism, civil rights, family, friendship, dedication, love, marriage, tension. And Russell has something that most black men are, no, are no, not noted for. I'm going to repeat that. It has something that most black men are not noted for. I cannot tell you what it is without giving away an important message of this book. So I'm hoping that uh, your audience, listener audience, will be uh, interested enough to find out what I'm talking about. So I'll stop there if you have any questions. That is a fantastic, uh, what I call, hook for the book, uh, because uh, to say it's something that black men are not noted for uh, and especially taking place in the 60s. Uh, and you uh, are familiar with the 60s. I'm familiar with the 60s. The 60s was a time um, of racial tension. You had uh, blacks against whites. You had slavery uh, mentality of a lot of people. You had the racism that was still perpetuating in the United States of America. Uh, and for them to be in a relationship uh, of that magnitude uh, was truly something like you say, taboo in the 60s. 
but for this to evolve and come around to 2011, um, it's, it sounds like a heck of a story. I mean, it's a story that someone would definitely want to read. But you are a talented author. Tell us a little bit about yourself, uh, more about yourself, uh, Eric, because you are something uh, to be recognized because of who you are and how you even got to the point of writing books. And this is your second novel, correct? This is my first novel, but this is my third book. My first two books were memoirs regarding uh, my life, and I wrote the books uh, because of the discrimination that I um, faced in the workplace in the government. And I won my case, two cases that I had against two federal agencies, and I I decided to write a book about it, but I, I kind of made the book. Uh, I had to go back into my background and show people where I got the strength to fight the U.S. government. Um, and so those were uh, two two of my first books. And one, The first one is entitled The Content of the Character, and the second one, which was an updated version of the first one, The Third Burden, My True Story of Defeating Discrimination in the Workplace. Um, and this, this is, from that takeoff, I, I wanted to do something different. And that is why I um, got involved in doing a novel. I, I was fortunate enough to uh, get in touch with a lady who ha- held my hand through this whole process because writing novels and writing memoirs are totally different. And there's certain laws and rules that you have to go through, uh, the literary rules that uh, if you don't know it, uh, you, you you know, you just uh, be out in the cold. But anyway, I, was, I had a lot of help with uh, uh, understanding how to write a novel, and, and the result of, uh, of what I have, I think, is 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 captured in this book, and uh, and actually, two of the people that I work with, two editors that I work with, told me that they don't know of another uh, book that has the content that I have in this book, because it's uh it's, it's a subject a lot of people don't like to broach, they don't like to touch interracial marriage, uh, but uh, I I uh, Attacked it, and and uh, I think I have the ingredients of a a book that people would want to read. 